Good evening, everybody. This is No Edits Crypto, episode 192, coming to you a little bit before 4 p.m. EST Monday. Two quick stories in the market update. Uh, first story is a uh, big cryptocurrency player based in China is establishing establishing a foothold here in uh, the United States, Pacific Northwest. Um, China-based Bitmain Technologies held a ribbon cutting for $20 million data center near the uh, Wanachi Airport on Friday. A celebratory mood ran through the grand opening despite headwinds besetting the virtual cryptocurrency sector, which is this price tip we've uh, been uh, experiencing. The six buildings in the new Bitmain complex are packed with thousands of specialized computers that earn a virtual currency that earn virtual currency by maintaining Bitcoin's electronic ledger of transactions. Bitmain's director of operations for North America, Jeff Stearns, uh, appeared unfazed by the plunge in Bitcoin's value, as am I, now down by more than 70% from last December's high. We are focused, uh, we are really focused on the long term, said Stearns, I would say in this bear market situation. Uh, and I would call it at this point in time that really represents opportunity for such companies as ourselves. So, um, uh, another big cryptocurrency player, uh, showing, uh, no real worries long term here. Um, actually, uh, continuing to build their business and moving, moving some of it here to the United States. Second story is, um, a story about why you shouldn't short cryptocurrency. Uh, long term, traders have reportedly incurred losses after Hong Kong based cryptocurrency exchange OKEX settled Bitcoin Cash futures, uh, future contracts almost without warning ahead of last week's hard fork. According to Bloomberg, Monday, the decision by OKEX um, resulted in significant losses for some investors, including Kao Chang, founder of a firm called Consensus. Uh, technologies who said his fund was down 700,000 because of the exchange uh, clo- because the exchange closed the contracts at a level that did not reflect market prices at the time so uh, Bitcoin Cash Zaga continues and um, he went on to say that it has come to our concern that an early announcement may make room for market manipulation cause loss to our users therefore we have decided to give a short notice in order to maintain the fairness and stability of the market uh, that was that, that was the exchange's uh, comment on the entire uh, process. So um, just interesting that people continue to short, even though um, we have seen the price come down <laughs> dramatically over the last uh, 13 months now. But uh, eventually, these guys are going to be wiped out. Uh, into the market, Bitcoin's down 10%. Uh, 10.67%, 5,078 dollars. Ethereum down 13.16, 157.19. Bitcoin Cash down 3.61% at 377 dollars 53 cents. EOS down 10.4%, 4 dollars 16 cents. Uh, Litecoin down 3.42%, 37 dollars 31 cents. Monero down 16%, 76 dollars 50 cents. Dash down 15 dollar or 15.88%, 113 dollars 60 cents. Neo down 16%, $10.66 in Steam. Hard days for Steam down 19.32%, cents. So uh, all of these dramatic price changes in the market cap is only down $30 billion. So interesting uh, what's going on right now. Uh, Bitcoin dominance at 52.2% uh, in aggregate cryptocurrency market cap. Uh, at 169 billion dollars, nine million. So um, market has seen better days, but the big news is the innovation continues, and the companies that are being built and uh, expanded um, are coming to the United States and in other places. Uh, so I think it, you know overall, really, really positive. Uh, this short, this you know, this is how market works. They go up and down. Uh, long term, I think we're still, uh, this is very, this is, you know, going to be very good for everybody who's, especially, like I said last video, if you like Bitcoin at 20K, you're really going to love it at 5K where it is right now. So, um, it's just funny, the, the mentality of people to only want to buy when it, when it's on its way up, when, um, when you really should be buying when it's in the red. So, 
uh, I view this as a good opportunity, even though this isn't financial advice, to um, stack your uh, your bags right now. So everyone have a good um, Monday evening.